guys and welcome back to my parents kitchen. Today we're making a recipe that I don't make that often so there's a small chance I mess it up. Today we're making a salmon with beurre blanc sauce and with that being said, let's go. Ingredients, salmon and beurre blanc sauce. We also have asparagus and rice. We'll see the ingredients throughout our recipe. First, let's make some room. So we'll start off with our rice, 250 milliliters, and our water, 625. If you wanna know how I know, I checked out the box for the instructions, and let's go to the stove. Grab a pot, open it up, place in our rice, place in our water, a tad of salt, about two grams. Put the heat on high, and with a spatula, mix it all in evenly. Now wait for it to boil. After about two minutes, our water is bubbly, it's starting to boil. We will cover it and wait 20 minutes, but during that time, let's move on to our prep. Time is running out, we have to do our prep and cook our salmon. Let's move on to our prep. Asparagus on the table, cut about here. That can go away and our asparagus will save for later. Moving on to our butter and our shallots for our beurre blanc sauce. We'll start off with our shallots, grab them on the table. With a red knife we want to cut in two. Slice and dice, baby, let's go. Spin them around and dice. Dice them quite finely. First one done, moving on to the second one. And dice. One last one, dice, clean up your knife, bring that away, put the bowl back, and reserve for when we make our beurre blanc sauce. We have 16 minutes left, we're running out of time, no time to waste, we need half of our butter, in other words, 250 grams. The other half can go away in the fridge for another video. This half, unpack like a Christmas present and cube. They don't have to be the same size, don't worry, we're melting the butter after anyway. And we'll reserve it in the fridge. 11 minutes, 30 seconds left. We're running out of time. Let's go. We have to move on to our salmon. Salmon on the table. And I'll be cutting it into three. My dad, my cameraman, and I. For you guys asking, it's not the same person. Our salmon, we will reserve it. And now let's move on like a relationship that went up in flames. Six minutes left for our rice. Now moving on to our salmon. Keep on high, keep on high. I have one liter of water in my pot. And now let's wait. In our pan for our salmon, a lot of butter. Looking a bit cheap, we can add a second dollop. Move the butter around, equalize it all. Our pan is at 150 degrees Celsius. We can put in our salmon. Salmon inside, flip that one back over, and wait. After about 30 seconds, we'll flip. And wait another 30 seconds. Up to you if you want to keep the skin. I don't personally like it that much. We can remove it right now. It just comes right off. Grab it and pull. And there we go. One last piece, small incision, and pull. Salt and pepper to taste. Flip. Salt and pepper to taste, yet again. Our water for our asparagus is boiling. Our asparagus, the elastic can go away. And our asparagus inside. We need to wait three minutes. Luckily for me, my rice is almost done. There we go. One, two, three. And we wait. Rice, heat off. And now for our salmon, we will flip it one more time. Looking good, re-flip it over. Turn the heat down to low. And to make sure it's cooked, cover it for about three to four minutes. After three minutes, our asparagus is done. Heat off. Spider and strainer, they're all there, perfect. We'll cover our water and bring it to the sink. And now our asparagus can come in here and our cover back on top. Our pan will reserve for later. Heat on low to keep it all toasty warm. Last step, beurre blanc recipe. Butter, lemon, shallots, salt, and white wine. For the butter, 250 grams. Lemon juice, 50 milliliters. Shallots, 25 grams. Salt, just a bit. And wine, 50 milliliters. One lemon is too much, we'll cut it into. The other half for later, and this should be enough for our beurre blanc sauce. The hardest part of our recipe now is our beurre blanc sauce. We'll put a pan in the middle and heat it up on medium low. To our pan, we'll add one cube of unsalted butter and wait for it to melt. Our butter starting to bubble just just a bit. Now we can add in all of our shallots. Smack the bowl. Now make them sweat for one to two minutes. Wine, 50 milliliters. About that much. Turn heat down to low. And our lemon inside. 25 milliliters like that. We want to reduce it to about a third of its current volume. It should take about one to two minutes again. It reduced by about two thirds. Our pan is at around 100 degrees Celsius. Now I split my butter into three equal portions. We'll add in one portion. Reserve the rest 
and slowly make the butter melt. Ensure that your pan is not over 125 degrees Celsius. You don't want to burn your butter, you're gonna ruin your sauce. We made it this far, let's not mess it up. Constantly spin your butter in, constantly stir. Get a whisk, incorporate it. Don't worry, these pans don't care about metal. Our next batch of butter, and repeat. And spin, re-spin, baby, let's go. At this point, our third batch. And, as always, the same. And as we say in French, on monte au bar. Our pan is all nicely melted, and now personal taste, just a bit of salt and pepper. It's all incorporated and our beurre blanc sauce is done. And now let's plate our rice. We forgot it for 20 minutes and it came out perfectly. The secret is to follow the instructions. Let's grab some rice. The rice will go back to where it came from. We will plate our thick boy in the middle. Let's double check to see if it's well cooked to our liking. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous. Because we're hungry, we'll add another piece. My asparagus aren't the greenest in the world. It's not really asparagus season right now. And there we go, salmon back on the stove. And now our beautiful beurre blanc sauce. One last spin, re-spin, and just pour it on top. Beautiful consistency. It's been a long time since I made this recipe, so I was scared to ruin it, but it actually came out really well. And there we have it, our beautiful salmon and beurre blanc recipe. Everything's here. Rice, vegetables, and a beautiful protein covered in butter. And there we have it, our recipe is done. Thank you guys all so much for watching my video. The good news is that I have an amazing recipe to eat right now. The bad news is that there's a literal mountain of washing up on this side, but I will see you guys in the next video. See ya, bye.